Welcome to Desk Geek. So I wanted to do this video for a viewer, Tech Rage. He said, hey, every time I'm recording an OBS, I'm getting this screen tearing problem. And brother, I feel you because I've gone through so much pain getting OBS to work correctly. It is one of those things that has just absolutely hindered a lot of my productivity is really trying to learn how to get OBS to work properly within Linux. And it's actually not that hard once I figured it out. It just meant I had to spend a lot more time learning OBS than what I was used to, say, in Windows, where I think most of their customers are still utilizing OBS, and so its default settings are more geared towards that. So the first thing is, why am I wearing a cowboy hat? Well, I just got back from Charleston, South Carolina on vacation, and I was doing a couple live Twitch streams down there, kind of showing off that stuff. And I had to get a cowboy hat while I was in Charleston. It just, it felt right. It made me feel part of the environment. So go ahead and make fun of me down below in the comments for the geek cowboy here. But that's okay. Maybe I'm going to do some live Twitch streams with this cowboy hat just to really nail it in. Um, but we're talking about OBS. You're going to see a picture of me, a picture, you're going to see three of me, which is another reason why I wanted to wear a big hat so you don't have to stare at my ugly mug, or at least most of it gets cut off. But there's three of me, which is a scary thought. But one of the first tricks I'll tell you is, number one, in Linux Mint, for whatever reason, and I do not know the answer why, you're going to have screen tearing when you're recording an OBS if you're doing the screen capture like I'm doing here. You can do the window mode capture, which is an option. If you go in here, you see window capture, and that's just going to capture the windows the window that you have open that you selected. So if you're doing a game like Ballistic Overkill, you want to open that game, minimize it, do your window capture for Ballistic Overkill, and then you'll be just capturing whatever happens within that game. And in fact, besides Mint, I recommend you doing that period with any game recording is just capture the window itself. In Linux Mint, you're going to get the tearing from the background that happens. And like I said, I don't know why. It only seems to happen in Mint. It didn't happen in Arch, Manjaro, Ubuntu, or anything. So there's just something about the, the background. And it doesn't matter if you change the wallpaper or anything that wants to tear through the screen in OBS so that your game kind of tears through and you see whatever your background images is coming in, in and out. Uh, the other thing is sometimes even in Ubuntu, you'll see a little bit similar behavior when you're opening up these menus Sometimes they tend to flicker. Of course, they're not going to do it now. But when you open these menus, you'll see that they tend to flicker. So there's something with the overlay and how OB OBS captures it within Linux that causes some problems. But if you stick to that window capture mode, you won't have that. The other thing is your settings. And this is where I spent the majority of my time. Of course, if you're streaming to Twitch, which you can easily do in OBS, you just need your stream key, which Twitch will give you. And your output here, I'm using the CBR at a 2500 uh, bit rate. That's for my actual live streams. So you can see this is the streaming section. I'm in output mode advanced. In recording, I'm just doing standard here, FLV. I'm using the NVIDIA because I have an NVIDIA graphics card, H.264 recording method at 1920 by 1080. I'm using the variable rate here. So what this does is it, my understanding of what this does, and if you know more as always, leave it in the comments below, is basically if there's a lot of action and bits going through, then it's going to expand the file size so it can capture it. And if it's very slow, like this kind of video right now, then it's going to shrink that down so that it's not basically creating one massive file. The, the, the other option you could use is lossless, which is going to make a huge file because it's going to record at the maximum bit rate the entire time. So, for instance, the Ballistic Overkill video that I did, which is very beautiful, you can see how great OBS can record in that. That is using this VBR method. That was about 22 minutes of video, which equated to, I think, about 13 gigabytes of space that it used using VBR. So you can imagine how big lossless would be there. And I'm using a bit rate of 6,000. And I don't know that that's the perfect number. That's the one that seemed to work the best for what I'm doing. Maybe I could lower that to the streaming quality at 3,500. But again, this is what I'm using at 6,000. Um, nothing else I really changed down here. I left most of that the same. My audio bit rate is at 128. If you're getting that real deep kind of demonic voice while you're recording, a lot of that may have to do with you trying to record at a bit rate that your uh, particular uh, equipment hardware cannot handle. So you want to look at your equipment and see what the max 
bit rate it has for it and also take in consideration file size and everything else 128 seems to be a happy medium dbx 286s with the focus right uh scarlet 2i2 which is the equipment that i'm using to record 128 seems to do really good i'm only doing the 44.1 i don't really notice a huge difference going from the 44 to 48 so it may save some space there on the file size, I use the desktop audio device as my USB because I'm using an amplifier uh, that my headphones are plugged into to keep the audio separate. And then of course my Scarlett 2i2 uh, as my auxiliary recording device. And then in the video, though I can't change anything because I'm actually recording this now, it's 1920 by 1080. I'm using Bicubic, sharpened scaling, 16 samples at 60 frames per second. So that's really it. Those are the only things that I really change when I'm going into OBS. And these are the best settings that I've been able to find. Right now I'm using Ubuntu 16.04 or 16.10, can't remember. Um, and it seems to work really well. Again, if you're using Mint or some of those others, make sure you use that window capture mode, that tearing thing does happen. If you know why, by the way, no fix for it, please leave it in the comments below. I hope this helps you, hope this helps answer your question. You can take a look at those settings and see if they work for you. If you have any other questions, leave them below. If there's something that I didn't share that you're interested in knowing, I would love to. I'd love to show you some of these scenes that I have set up, but if I switch them, then you can't see anything. So uh, in any case, I hope you guys have an awesome week. I just got back from vacation. You see two awesome pictures behind me too. Those are gonna be new staples in the video. That's from Sean Patrick. He's a local artist over in South Carolina and you can follow him at on Instagram at Sean Patrick Art. And I saw those um, two paintings and I picked them up in Charleston, South Carolina. I just absolutely love them. So now they'll be a staple on the stream. Until next time, get out there and fill your brains. Don't watch the video.